Hello and welcome to another video here with me, Arnold Schmidt. We're playing Green Stompy. Is it finally good enough? We'll find out with today featuring the new cards Plukronos Reborn, which is a hell of a creature. Three mana, four, five reach, just on baseline. Uh, yeah, why not? Right? Stats, stats, stats. And then on the backside, it flips into Worm Pluk Hydra Engine? Hydra Coil Engine? I don't know how to call this thing. Polucronus Engine of Ruin, uh, which is, yeah, a nod to the famous Worm Coil Engine. Um, but instead of Death Touch, it has Reach. So uh, it's a 6 6 lifelinker Reach. When it dies, it creates a free free Reacher and a free free. Uh, creature with lifelink and the funny thing is it gives that ability to all hydras so if you you know corner case scenario but if you have this in play uh on the fl flipped into an engine of ruin then on the next turn you play a pelucranos reborn because they're different cards you can have pelucranos reborn and you can have the backside in play at the same time then when pelucranos reborn dies you get the free freeze as well so yeah just <laughs> Uh, Hydra Tribal, I guess, uh, if, if that's a thing in Commander, I suppose, uh, more likely than in Standard. You know, just a little, little tiny thing to consider. Another big one, I think, really, really good creature for Mono Green is Doomscar Warrior. Four mana, four free, backup one, and which is the new ability where you can put a counter on one of your creatures when this comes into play or on itself, and then when you put it on another creature, that creature will gain the ability below backup one that Doomscar Warrior has, so we'll gain Trample, and we'll gain this ability. Whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player or battle, look at that I mean cards from the top of your library, you may reveal a creature or land, put it into your hand, so it's card advantage. And that is really the big thing for a mono green deck. You know, you, you play Curve out a little bit here and there, da, 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 but then if your opponent has a couple of removals, you run out of gas, and this is not only as a big Trampler, it pumps up your creatures to enable attacks, and it will also enable card advantage. Whenever it hits the opponent, it, it is card advantage. And then when it comes into play right away, it has that hasty card advantage and pump involved. So I think that is pretty promising. Last but not least, we have a new two drop. Oops. Uh, that is looks pretty good. Uh, two free size, two mana, two free is not the biggest thing in the world. Of course, we would rather have a free free. <laughs> Which, uh, I mean, we're with Pack Leader. Gosh, that card was ridiculous. Um, but nonetheless, it does block Goblin Shaman on the draw, which is always nice. And it goes around uh, at least, um, you know, minus two, minus two from a, a Blood Type Harvester, things like that, that are to be considered. And when it deals combat damage to a player or battle surveil one, so some card advantage. And then you may return a land card from your graveyard to the battlefield. So uh, it ramps you, allows you to go crazier, quicker, flip this. Flip this. We have a, a bunch of transformers here. Both cost seven, finally enough. Old Mod Oddity. And yeah, so there's that. Of course, Bloated Contaminator and Involving Adaptive are new additions from the recent set. So if you look at the stack, it plays a bunch of new cards. No, never mind. Even Tiver Stat as well. So 12 cards from Phyrexia All Will Be One. We're incorporating 11 cards from the current set. That is 23 new cards. Um, you know, I looked at Stompy after Frexia all will be one and I was like should I make a video on this <sighs> no I don't think there's quite enough cards yet you know it's close but it's not quite there yet here we gain eight more cards and some sideboard stuff as well which I talk about in a second so I think we're at a point where you know uh, I, I give Green Stompy the honor of being featured on this channel so yeah we have um what do we have we have uh, the tandem takedown which I like as a new way of efficiently getting rid of Shieldred. So you can play things like Tail Swipe, of course. We have two in the main deck here. It's a very efficient fight spell. You know, can can hate on the card. But against Death Touches, like Shieldred, uh, you don't want to use fight spells. You want to have the sort of bites of the, of the word Tandem Takedown, uh, which deals damage equal to two creatures of yours power to uh, that Shieldred, so really guarantees killing that thing. And uh, yeah, um, actually, I just realized, and maybe we should try that. We should try the new card, the um, Moloch. I f totally forgot about including it in the sideboard. Um, and we really should give it a shot. I I'm not exactly sure how good it is going to be. Uh, it is a free mana photo flash. And when the, your opponent has cast a blue or black spell this turn, it comes into play and takes one permanent off the top four. Not sure if it's better than Bankbuster, but, you know, let's give it a shot. Um, 
And I think, yeah, Bankbuster is the card we want to cut for that. It is that card advantage engine that we want to bring in against the Black Decks, and Sandstalker Moloch is kind of the same same card in a way. Not the same card, but, you know, like the same, uh, that has the same uh, target to, 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 to be utilized against. And, yeah, we have some Nissas here for Mono White, just a big haymaker. If the games go a little bit slower, it's great against Sweepers, of course. Then we have Fran, uh, which, you know, just against the blue decks, or also against Grixis. I mean, this thing, if they don't have Invoke Despair set up to kill it, right, which can be difficult, we play a deck with, full of, with a bunch of creatures, so we're going to have other creatures to sacrifice. Fran just is indestructible 5-5. Five, five. I mean, it's a huge, huge threat and uh, difficult to kill. Cemetery Prowler is our choice of Graveyard Exiling against Ractus Reanimator and stuff. Kanker Bloom, some artifact removal, and more Tail Swipes that can come in against Esper Legends, against, uh, yeah, just the fast aggro decks, Toxic, and what else? Soldiers, maybe Phyrexians nowadays. So yeah, Mono Green Stompy, let's stomp some people, let's see if this is finally good enough for Standard. Loveless is our opponent. Alright, let's bring the beats, Four Forest, long time no see. One, two, three, let's go. I mean, this could seriously be a deck at best of one. I mean, this this will very, very much be better in best of one, of course. Duress. <laughs> yes. Uh, no, yeah. If, if you guys are into best of one, Mono Green Stomp here has certainly higher chances there. Lucranos Reborn, number two. You know, I don't mind if I do. Like, the first one has to be killed eventually, so. Also looks like... Ah, put it in the bin, get into play, sweet value. Bada boom, bada bang. Gonna go for the throw at this blue chronos. Yep, are we playing against mono black here? Mono black against mono green? No, it's Rakdos. Don't think it's Grixis at this point. Oof, the Trespass is a, is a really good card here. On my board of tiny creatures. Um. Yeah, I'll play another Pelucranos. I threatened to flip this thing next turn, so... Due to the ramp of Wayfinder, if they just play a Shieldred... Hmm... Well, now, yeah, I mean, keeping up removal... Makes me not want to flip this, of course. That, that is a risk I'm not willing to take. So, we're just attacking for 8 here. No. Nah. Happy to trade, sure. Probably... No? No removal? What is this? Just has cheap removal. Volcanic Spite. Okay. A new card. Well, if they ever tab out, I'm gonna flip this Pelucranos. And that is... Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Sure, let's go. <laughs> right away, we get the warm coil engine, yeah? Love it. I mean... Tell me, tell me how you beat this. You need soul transfer, pretty much. Um, yeah, right? Killing this won't be a good idea. Shieldred, death touch, yeah. I mean, they could, they could like, go for the throat. It's enforcement. What? What? This doesn't trample, though, I guess. It doesn't trample, so there's, there's that, at least. Yeah, but I mean, it gains me six life every time. The Abyss. Routes, and, routes reinforcements, funnily enough, pretty good answer to, to the Pelucranos, at least, you know, by some time. Okay. Yeah. Being a free mana 4 5 on the front side already, you know, that's, that's a really good stat line. And just having this add on ability that makes it into an outrageously good creature. Like, this is insane. You know, like, Ultimate Oddity is also good, of course, but Lifelink Reach, when it dies, it makes free freeze that's just another tier compared to this, this, this creature here on the backside. It's just, like, so useful and constructed. Uh, oh, wow, Trample? You don't say. I, I could use some Trample, yeah. Um... <laughs> Yeah, we were getting the, given the Pelucranos trample, and then from that point, you know, you know the thing. So we're playing against the variant of Rakdos, utilizing Rath reinforcements for whatever reason. Really don't don't like that card in that deck. I don't get it, but uh, we'll see, I guess. 
We'll see, we'll see. So Sandstalker Moloch is probably what we want to run here. Cut a Kodama. Um, cut a Oddity. It's pretty bad against the removal. Bring in the lock, uh, the lockdown, I'm saying the takedown. Bring in Moloch. Bring in Fran. Chiba stand, I don't mind. We could cut some one drops. We could maybe the wave. Uh, hmm. Maybe I should cut some freeze, actually. Cut some contaminators. Brawler, yep, 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 yep. Nissa, Kanker Bloom, Tail Swipe. Tail Swipe. Yeah, I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. This looks good. This looks fine. I I could cut some two drops for oddities. Just have some more high end. Funny thing is, the pack leader also gets triggered from a big Tiva stand. But yeah, right now the pack leader doesn't have many things to get triggered by. So I'll put one wayfinder back in. Cut it. Cut the pack leader. I'm not sure if that's correct, but yeah, cutting one drops. When when the way we gain tempo as as our deck is uh, is via one drops, as isn't isn't maybe the best decision ever, but yeah. Okay, um, I'll try it, I guess. Um, sure. Tiva stand. I mean, the, the plan is against Shieldred, which is a pretty troubling card, of course, for my deck. Is to to have Tiva stand to have them be in a position where they have to block the Shieldred, and then at that point you can just Tiva stand the Shieldred. All right. No attacks. Spicy. That that is that is some next level stuff. I uh, I guess I guess it's just that obvious that I have to vest that. Alright. Well played opponent. Beast Call has a really good two drop. That is a very, very strong card. If, if if you have another if you could play eight beast caller, this deck would be a lot better. Look on my Hmm. You kinda wanna have the beast caller out before you play the Doomscar. Just Beast Caller grows and grows. If I play Doomscar here. Don't really have great attacks either, and they just trade. But if they trade the beast caller, I mean, I'll put the counters on something else. Four cards in hand. I'm scared about Gix's command too. That's a card that these decks usually play. If I just play beast caller there, Gix's command is gonna blow me out. Now Gix's command doesn't look that good against me. This card rounds reinforcements. Yeah, yeah, that, that's where it belongs in the graveyard. Um, I'm gonna trigger that. Becomes a free free, and then yeah, I'll just put a counter here, I suppose. Am I willing to even trade? Honestly, my thing grows bigger. I don't think I'm gonna trade. Looks like they don't have an instant speed removal. Well, okay, now I just sack it. I can put one and one. Think that's good. Yeah. This does not have trample. I can trade here. Oh, shoot. I messed up. I don't... New cards. No, I should have put two counters on this. That was stupid. 
Uh, I, I think I should be fine, but now I really... Uh, wow, they're not blocking at all. What? I guess they have Gix's command, that's why. We'll take an oddity, huh? Um, yeah, I, sh I thought, I, I think I should have put this onto a 6-5, because I'm, if they block, I thought because I'm trampling, I get my value anyways, but I'm only getting to look at one card, so that really diminishes that value, although my deck is like 54 hits, I think, so it's actually, actually pretty good. Well, now you double kill these two. Chandra. Chandra, this is on <laughs> yeah, Facebook. Ah, that's why you play Raul Reinforcement, I see. Okay. Not even sure if I want to attack. Like, this flips into a free free. I think I still want to attack, though, because Gix's command is one of the cards they can come back with. Giving lifelink and making me sack my Fran. Oh, yeah, Fran is actually not that good against Gix's command. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't run Fran, actually. If, like, people play Gix's Command these days, and that card really wrecks Fran. Hmm. Play that. Trigger Beast Caller. Activate Foundry. And swing. No, but yeah, what, what I was going to say. The Chandra, just six mana killing two threats. <laughs> Being, that, that, that's sort of the worst case, right? <laughs> Sorry, that's... Bonkers. Yeah, you gotta block the front. No, this front travels. Hmm. No, but if you have nothing, you die. Yeah, you're just dead. Trampling front. On top of all the other abilities, it also travels. This is lethal. It's free trample, two damage. So I uh, braid my foundry, you live. Oh, stoke the flames. Okay, that's what you're playing the, the reinforcements for. Hmm. Okay. Sure, I guess. This was a, this was a pretty convincing game. So I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm impressed. Boom. There goes the victory. <clears throat> Hello, Anna is in Mythic now. We're playing some Stompy. I did have fun, yeah. <laughs> I'm on a play. I'll take that. Hmm, that is one land too short. Okay. I mean, sure. It's actually a pretty good hand. Go adaptive, adaptive pack leader. Six power turn two. Ah, this time the duress hits. <laughs> That's unfortunate. We only play six, six of them. Already bottomed one. All right. Now Pelucranos off the top. Ah, oh, oddity. Well, at least now land is a good draw. Looks like we're playing Grixis. Okay. Ah, jeez, look at this. This is, yeah, this is lethal. So they have to block. Jesus Christ. Ay, 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 ay. Block here, take 10. How do you... What, what just happened? <laughs> this, this turn three of the game, they had two lines. Damn, this deck deals damage. <laughs> all right, all right. A bit of discard. Negate land, yeah, negate the rest in the deck. It's sweet. Good. I mean, not gonna lie. In the Esper Legends deck, a days of, of standard, you're playing these cards in the main deck, that seems... You know, I don't know about that. Alright, we'll take out the Tail Swipe. We cut some Contaminators, we did cut the Kodama. Cut an Oddity or two. Add in uh, Moloch. Add in Takedown in front. Although, not sure about the front, because Gix's command is a blowout. 
So, don't know about that one. Yeah, could have some Banky Boys in the deck. What did I do? I did do this, right? Just have some more of these. No, I, I don't like that. I'm going to have cheap threats against Grixis. Mm. I'll try the front. I mean, it did win me the game against the Rectus player. If, if people are playing new cards nowadays, to, tr to, to and maybe they're, maybe they're triggering on Grixis command, right? Maybe they're like, oh, I want to try this Chandra. And then, mm, what do I cut? Uh, Grixis command, sure. Interesting hand. I think it's a keep, though. I... I you know, like Prukronos looks pretty uncastable. But the Deep Root Wayfinder could, could help. Although I don't expect it's gonna survive. Blood dive. Oh, okay. Perfect. And swing. Okay, uh, attack. I think the Molog is gonna draw the card here, huh? You're just gonna cut down or something? Ah, uh, no card for the Molog. Damn. Alright. Could have passed, I suppose. Keep up Molog. Mm, I, don't, I don't know. I could have done that. Oh, they were playing as Reanimator. Ah, oh, the second Blue Chronos. <laughs> it's just the most awkward. Like, I have three cards in my hand that I cannot cast with four mana in play and two foundries. Ah, oh, damn, nerd. Sucks. Hate everything. Reanimator with Negate and, and the rest in the main. Hmm. Alright, pass the turn. Big score. I'm not afraid. Damn it! Damn it! Couldn't you play a black spell? Is that much to ask? There's a black spell. Not one I wanted to see, not gonna lie. Dead 18 life. Um. So if I take this, I'm just gonna take that and then. So I take the forest, I guess. Yeah, this doesn't look good. This doesn't look good. Fran gonna go. Fran is gonna get taken by them. I need a Bosejo off the top. Maybe I should bring in Kanker Bloom. Excuse me. Bosejo? Uh whoa. This is that's crazy. That's crazy, guys. I don't know what to say. That's a one-off. That is nuts. Ah, uh, wait a minute. I actually want to have them draw a card first, because... I want them to have a high likelihood of drawing a land, so... I want to blow this up after they draw, so they have one more land in the deck. Amazing. Amazing top deck. Phenomenal. Wow, they're, they're really high on those free damage things, huh? No, look. Two cards in hand. I'll just play a Prukronos. I think it's just super sus keeping up the Moloch there. It's like pretty obvious that I have that card. Go for the throw it. Them having used up two abrades, I could have actively just attacked for four with the foundry. Attack, pump one. Deal them four. Maybe that's more reliable than Pudukranos. Getting the job done. Mm, what do I do here? I guess I'll activate a foundry, don't I? But how do I activate it? Yeah, probably just uh, yeah. I'll, I'll activate it with Foundry, keeping up the Pulukra, keeping up triple green, so I can cast my second Pulukra now. Because I, I have a sinking feeling this one's not gonna make it. Yeah. All right. Now I just play Moloch though. Hmm. 
Moloch looking good so far. Oh, brutal. Dang it. Dang it. All right, I guess I'll play Perukronos pre-combat then. Because I don't want to run into another make disappear. I'm not going to activate this. No way. I have lethal on board this way, so... I think they have go for a fruit in their hand. That's their last card. Oh, the bar. Alright. Not a go for the throat, but some sort of instant speed into action. Atraxa. <laughs> well, you didn't need to play that. I still have a decision to make here if I want to go for lethal or not. But yeah, I mean, all these free damage effects... At some point, they, they become they become kind of bad. All right, Moloch was good. Um, Bankbuster wouldn't have been great against all these abrades, so. All right, here we are again. Uh, unfortunately, internet outage caused me to lose the, the last match. Um, yeah, my internet went out for five minutes. German things, happens. Um, so here we are again, playing some action. But I actually, I did play a mono red match as well, which I, I, I won, but I forgot to click record, so. I, uh, I lost one, went down on percentages, won one again. So here we are, again at 98%. Scorn Blade Berserker, a new card. Okay. Man, this is this deck definitely has a curve. With uh, Evolving Adaptive, it's, it's a hell of a card. Size, size, size. Red, black, sackety, sack, sack. Just play an anvil, harvester. That's kind of slow. That's actually pretty pretty slow. Yeah, yeah, it's not good. Is it good? Is it good enough? I mean, it's it's fine. Do I attack? Actually, is the question. Then I don't think I do. I mean, I could attack this. No, you know what? No, because damage. Sure, free damage is nice, but they're hundred percent gonna block my adaptive. So. It really just is free damage. Um, and, and next turn, playing Pelucranos, all of these are 4-4s, four so then they have to double block. Interesting that it didn't want to use the anvil to make it 1-1. One, one. Yeah, this is just a... Yeah. Look at this. 16 power turn 4. It's ridiculous. Adaptive and Beast Color are both nuts. And then you just play three mana, four, fives. So why not? Take eight. <laughs> no board position. Okay, I don't proliferate, I guess, but... You know, you're still in trouble. To be fair, this game would have gone differently if I would have been on a draw. Because then they could have actually killed the Beast Caller with Harvester. Okay. Do you have a way to sack this? Because it's not an artifact, so you can't sack with the Anvil. Oh yeah, this makes a treasure. Hmm. This is a good threaten effect. It's a good threaten effect. Yeah, that card is strong. Very strong. Maybe one of the best threaten effects ever. Getting that extra treasure is big in the Anvil deck too. This card, actually, I kind of overread it for Constructed. Yeah, this card is Constructed playable for these Sacrifice decks. Pretty good one. 
it's so cool that it, it combos with conviction to unfree. Like you just steal a creature and then boom, sack it. And the steel effects are really nice against Goblin Shaman. Because you can get an additional treasure, right? They go Fable, you go Furnace Reigns, steal it, attack, get two treasures, then sack it somehow. Either Berserker or Conviction. Now they're gonna sack this thing again. And continuously keep buying time here. Okay, should try that. I should definitely try that. Oh, alright, maybe they don't have a sack effect. Well, okay. <laughs> Then that's that. Sacrifice. Okay. Tail swipe, tail swipe. Just keep boarding it out. And the Kodama. Um, Growler. No. Run? Hmm. Trample is good. I like me some trample against 1 1 artifacts. They can't steal it with the furnace reins. And otherwise, I mean, Kankablue, maybe. Moloch, I guess. Just a little card advantage. Just a little card advantage. Not sure. And, uh, I'm just going to bring in some Kankers. Maybe cut a Contaminator for another Moloch. Free, free, free on the free drops. No, I mean... The the three mana four fours aren't that great against furnace rains, pretty much. That's so Moloch is 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 decent against furnace rains. But of course, I mean Moloch being saying blue and black means that if you play against a black red deck, they you know just pass with Moloch, they play Fable, you know, like ugh. <laughs> Sucks. I feel like Moloch is in a weird way not not the greatest hate card because good players can just play around it like oh i play my black removal in my turn when you're tapped out right stuff like that and then you can't moloch me or when you keep up free mana for moloch then i just play the red card you know so against a blue black deck of course moloch is good but there's no deck that's just strictly blue and black Yeah, this 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 does look decent. I mean, this card looks looks pretty decent too. Is there furnace rains here and a way to sack my guy. I don't think I'm winning this game. But yeah, I, I, I got some power here. That's for sure. Hitting a land would be nice. Not gonna lie. Um, no. No, no, no. Man, Lucronos, I like that card. Just, the backside is ridiculous. Oh. She Aldred. Guess I gotta bring in tandem. Take down. Against the Mother Shieldred. Yeah, I mean, this is still the biggest pain for Mono Green Stompy, I think. I mean, if, if you want to hear the truth, I like this deck, don't get me wrong. And if you have pressure of Tiva stand, da, 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 you can even beat a Shieldred. But then, if you're on the draw, situations like these, Shieldred's going to beat you. Shieldred's just going to beat you, and there's nothing you can do about it. The card is reading on it, beat target Mono Green player. So as long as this thing is seen play in standard, which still until next autumn, isn't it great? I think I'll just take another Doomscar Warrior here. I mean, maybe I can overpower it. If, if this is just Shieldred, we can... Like, our hand is crazy stacked, so... Could overpower the Shieldred, maybe. We'll see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're attacking with that. I would have snapped double blocked. Now I'm at 10, so I die in 5 turns alone to the shield red. 
and they have the ran in play, so this is gonna get ugly quickly. Yep, I go to eight, I go to six, they have 19, draw, gaining four. Mm, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye this game. Bye bye chances of winning this game, I should say. Yep, yep, yep. Tandem takedown off the top? I don't have it in my deck, so can't happen. Alright, I think. I think I'm good to concede this one. This is just over, over, over. Alright. Sacrifice doing its thing. Mm. I don't know. Maybe Moloch is just nonsense because it's more about racing probably than anything else. I'll just put the, these, these deep roots back in here and just cut the, the front. It's too expensive to bring in Moloch. I mean, I could, I could have one front maybe. Let's try this. Sorry. If they bring in children, I need fast cats. Fast cats. <laughs> Can't talk anymore. Fast cards! I need fast pressure. Big stats. Not Moloch drawing me cards. Don't care. Don't care about drawing cards. I died with five cards in hand here. Yeah. I mean, that's an important lesson. You have to know what how other games are going to play out. I wasn't aware of what they're running exactly, so I didn't know they have shielded as well to all the sacrifice stuff. But honestly, considering that the sacrifice stuff can put on a pretty hefty clock already, the Fran and all that, the, the Furnace Rain dealing you like 4 or 5 damage every time they steal a creature, means, yeah, means that the games won't go so long. It, the card advantage cards will be less good, and you'd probably rather have curve out heavy hitters. And T-Rest stand looks amazing, honestly. Furnace Rain's not that good against a one mana protection spell. I'd like to play first. Yeah. Man, Furnace Rain's dead card. Man, I kept making gaining an extra treasure, that's so big. You would you would think that Threaten Threaten has been around, you know? Threaten, free mana take a creature. Untap it, attack, blah blah blah. Give it back to them. But like putting an extra treasure on that is, is such a huge improvement. It is really, it, it is really, really strong. Man, this game I could just try to win with Warm Coil Engine. I mean, I have the protection and ramp now too. I think I'm gonna try. Murex. I'm just gonna keep swinging. Take it. More lands, don't mind if I do. And Tiva stand. Huh. So if I play Pulukranos, you know what? I'm gonna keep it. So the, I guess the awkward thing is this not, does not have trample in itself. So they can block and then sack, right? And that could really bite me. They already have one creature that can do that. They discard these two, right? I think they're land light because they, yeah. I think they're spell heavy because you wouldn't play Mirax on turn three if you if you'd had different uh, other lands. Okay, I drew a land. All right, four spells. Let's let's see it. They go furnace rains. We can protect. They don't go furnace rains. Okay. Block. So now if they have go for the throat and furnace rains, I would hate that. If they have double go for the throat, I would also get blown out, of course. Okay, if it's just a go for the throat, I'm fine. No clue why you didn't do that pre-combat though. 
but okay. Ooh, what are you doing? You sacking your guy? Well, now I get a hit in. I don't know if you wanted to do that. Uh, wait, what? No, you didn't want to do that, right? I just get a hit for six in. Let's see. I mean, they have Anvil Engine going, so... But I have a bunch of life and a Polychronos in play. <laughs> I mean... How am I losing with that thing in play, right? Like, I mean, yeah, okay. They, I'm losing against Anvil, I guess. Because they... Oh, wait. I thought they sacked it. Oh, they sacked that. Okay, never mind. Hmm. Okay, I might actually lose this game, huh? I might just lose to the combo. Wow, that's a lot of lands. Oh, damn. Pelucrosnos ain't that good against Anvil, huh? But they need to make... Oh, they can also Furnace Rain the Pelucrosnos. That's pretty ridiculous, too. Okay, looks like I'm gonna get a hit in. That's nice. Um, I have a lot of mana. Five, eight. Do I just attack with Pelucranos or do I attack with more? These two are legendary. Two cards in hand. Eleven, so I go to 17 life. This cost me f four mana, I have nine. They might have conviction. Looks like they have conviction. Hmm. So they can block and then sack. Yeah. I attack for everybody. I mean, they might also have cut down, I guess. Really? I think Kiki is more annoying. Maybe they have cut down, huh? This makes me think they have cut down. Hmm, cut down would be a big blowout. Could just let this happen. I think I'm going to. I don't. I don't mind losing the wayfinder. You know. I I I'll just play two more threats. I still have the blue cross out and a two stand in hand. I think it's fine. I'm gaining my six, which is which is the big deal here. They need an artifact blocker. I need Boseju. I mean, they need they need stuff before I I do need stuff. I'm right now. I'm winning. <laughs> six six is gonna beat them. I mean, they could get the token, but then they have to... This doesn't block, right? So they have to sack it, get a 1-1, one, one, and then they can block next turn. So I get another swing for 6 in. This is not an artifact either, so... Ooh, big one, big one. Big draw, big draw. Now I can give Trample. To Pelucranos and draw more cards. I mean, on the other hand, at this point, do I want to give Trample to the Pelucranos or do I just want to pump one of my other creatures? So I can swing. I'll just draw. I, I'll, I'll see so many cards and I guarantee a swing for seven life. I have to do it. I guess I'll just max out. Alright.
Eleven trample. Choices. All right, there's an easy choice and a doom scar. <clears throat> yeah, doom scar looking good so far. I must say, I like it. This deck is looking good. I mean, this really has legs. I think. Mono green, mono green. I mean, there's also mono white mid range in the format, which has like exiling removal unconditionally. Warning Emperor is a huge pain. So this, not only Shieldred is a is a big problem. There's there's other problems in in the format facing this type of deck. Um, but yeah, I mean, nonetheless, it's it's it seems powerful. It seems very powerful. Blood dive, okay. Okay. Pumping a shield it up, mm, I guess. Yeah, I'll just give trample again to the blue granos. Guaranteeing that life swing. I mean at this point I might just be able to swing with everybody. I mean I eat the Contaminate it, chump here, sack, and trade here. Take two. Then I also have this thing, and they also have to deal with the trample. Yeah, I think it's okay to, to attack everybody. Mm, actually, maybe I shouldn't have activated this, because I'm going to have a look at more cards here. Then I could have played another card post-combat, but I guess I can play a free drop post-combat. Damn, I love it. it I, I mean, I thought when I saw this that this is just going to be a rare thing that happens, right? That you flip this, but it already happened a couple of times. And uh, this this time, it's actually everything in this game, right? It is why we are still alive against the Shield Red. <clears throat> Damn. Man, I wish you could get to the to the Pelucranos without having to play uh, to the to the backside without having to play the, the front side. Just reanimate it in some sort of deck. But give me the give me the backside. I'll do anything for the backside. The front side uh, can't put that into any deck, can I? Uh, so that did this, did this. Yeah. Actually, we're gonna look at we're gonna draw two cards here apparently. Two trample there as well. Didn't even use the one one, huh? A bit surprised by that. They used the berserk instead. I see. Uh, I do this one first. All right. Mm, Bosetu, Fran, Oddity, Oddity. How much mana do I have? Six, eight, nine, ten. Ah, oh, it's cost 11, 6, 8, 9, 10. No, wait, I have the Foundry in play, so I have 11 next turn, so I can flip this. <laughs> or I take Boseju. I mean... Ah, come on, it's gotta be the Oddity ride. Gotta be the Oddity. <clears throat> 4, 6, 10, 11. <laughs> gotta say, the Deep Root Wayfinder did some work, huh? Anvil. Now this doesn't have trample anymore, but it gains trample with this thing. So they, they need another go for the throat essentially to survive. Uh, another go for the throat. Which they, they drew two in the top 20. Probably have four in the 75 and uh, the 60. Yeah, 75, I mean, but no, in the 60, 100%. Um, so, I mean, the odds are in my favor. But, you know, magic is. Uh, it's a game of variance, so they could have that go for the road. You know, there's no no real way of playing around it. Honestly, I I gotta go for what I what I, I have to do. What I have to do. 
I have to do what I have to do. I'm surprised. I mean, furnace rains. Mm, no, furnace rains. What do you got? What do you got? This, this is actually an instant speed transform too, by the way. Could theoretically wait. 24 life. All right, let's get in there. And honestly, if they have go for the throat, it's it's just a one for one in the end. The, the block there, okay. They block my Pelucranos. They drew a second shared red, I guess. Yeah, the, this. Well, let's see. First step, go for the throat. You have it, you have it. It doesn't look like they have it. All right, that's it. That is enough damage to get the job done. Everything tramples. That's a bazillion. Minus 12. Damn. Damn, I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. Mono green stompy, huh? Apparently we are in the in the thousands, in the numbers, in the real numbers already. Good day, good day. Mono green stompy. Cool, cool, I like it. I think I would cut the tail swipe. Um... You, can, you know what you can do in this deck? You can actually play Bankbuster in a Ming deck. I think that's reasonable. Um, Bankbuster is a two-mana card that you can use your, your four drops into and to, to pump it up, uh, to, to, to swing in. So, so it's, a, it's a reasonable two-drop to play in this deck as well. But it, I guess it doesn't pump up the adaptive and the Beast Caller. Uh, yeah, okay, that's a bit of, bit of an anti-synergy. It would be really, really nice these days if Mono Green could get a 2-mana 3-3, free free, not gonna lie. Just vanilla 2-mana 3-3 free free would already be great for the stack because cut down. Cut down, cut down, cut down. Having 2 drops that just die to cut down, which is a really, really popular card these days, is rough. So, yeah. Otherwise, I mean, you can cut the tail swipe, add like an oddity maybe, and I don't know, add like a random 2-drop. There's some there's some decent ones. Um, Kanker Bloom, for example. Uh, and yeah, just Put the Tail Swipe in the side, but I think that's that's to go to. Sandstalker Moloch, I'm not sure if it's better than Reckoner Bankbuster. I'm not sure. Skeptical. Reckoner Bankbuster is just so nice. It does trigger your adaptive, it does trigger your base beast caller, so there's upside compared to Bankbuster, of course. Um the front, I suppose. That I think I'm skeptical of these days, because again, Gix's Command is a, is a big card, and this just runs into Gix's Command um like no other card does. So uh, I would get rid of the front and the sideboard for for Bankbusters. And uh, yeah, otherwise, Doomscar Warrior. Pretty happy with that card. Looked great from look great to me. Pelucranos, amazing. <laughs> I mean, one of those games that we otherwise couldn't have won. And having that protection spell means that if you have seven mana in play, you can safely go for this with the protection up. But of course, you shouldn't get just recklessly go for this uh, when you don't have the protection and your opponent might have go for the throat. So yeah, Deep Revey Finder. Not insane. I didn't I, honestly. It kind of hit the expectations, or it was even better. I didn't think much of this card because of the stats were a little low, um, but it did draw us a lot of lands and then surveilled some spells to the bottom that we didn't want to draw. So it was pretty impressive um, and better than I thought. So for now, it has a, the main deck slot for off, guaranteed. Monogreen Stompy, it's back, ladies and gentlemen. And thank you for watching, as always, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.